Hello out there, the interwebs. It is I, Mr. Tyler, here for Bodies and Wicks. And I just got done finishing my ETH video. <clears throat> it seems like uh, from the last hour, um, a lot of things have hit a bottom. So, uh, I did a, a, a technical analysis on uh, ETH and uh, it looked really, really good. Um, the way, just the way things were lining up and the way the algorithm was forming, um, it looked good for 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 ETH. So um, next one, I guess I'm gonna do. I, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do the big ones. Let's go ahead and do Bitcoin, and uh, let's see if this has anything to say to us, huh? If we think uh, Bitcoin is going to have uh, any kind of effect, any kind of strong strength, I've, I've drawn out a couple things already, and um, we'll just have to see and wait and uh, what see what happens, I guess. Uh, one second, I'm actually trying to do something here really quick. Second here. Oh, wrong one. There we go. There's the button. And I lost it. I don't know where it went, but I lost it. I guess never mind. Anyways, all right, let's do some uh, ET. Let's do some TA, some TA, some TA, some TA on uh, on some uh, some some Bitcoin here. All right, let's head over to the browser. All right, so Bitcoin looked like it hit uh, almost almost a double bottom. Sorry, my computer is being really, really slow right now. But uh, bottom before that, well, actually, I don't even know why I'm doing that. So bottom before that was right here, around thirty something thousand. So, uh, which is actually strange because that one didn't clear any liquidity. This one didn't clear any local liquidity. So, I'm wondering if there is, um, you know. Uh, order blocks inside of those that are forcing those to not go and clear the liquidity or a stop short um, of people who may have had buy stops right and then the people that have buy stops not paying attention it runs off and then they have to buy after the accumulate after the distribution is over is right here is this some distribution right here <clears throat> um, this is just normal formation right through here uh, over here was a uh, uh, fair value gap what does it do the same thing that happened to um, uh, Ethereum comes up touches it that's what drops it down right and then we have another one same exact thing I mean it's it, it was now that I look at it it's it, it's like painting the same picture that I did with Ethereum right and then of course what happened with it looks like it came right looks like it came right through right hit, hit the middle of it jump back course since it's a fair value gap whenever you get inside of a fair value gap it always m makes it jump back until it drives through so made it halfway through pulled back right then it of course since now it is a uh a fair i would say fair value sorry uh now that this is an order block 
looks like it came back, hit the order block, and then that order block, or I should say this could be the propel propulsion block, and the propulsion block actually drove it higher. So now that we actually have it up higher, it actually, this actually, did, it, did this get above these highs? It got close. It got it got above some of these highs, but not, not not all of them. So you can see it's trying to get above these highs right here, right? Ultimately, this high right here, and then next will be this high right here, and that's why I have this line drawn right here. So that's why it came up, and this drive didn't work, right? So then, boom, this one did. And then also filled in the fair value gap at the same time. After it fills in the fair value gap, of course, pulls back, jumps, court, and then jumps back in through, and of course jumps out of the fair value gap. Now we have what would be, what I would call a fake out. I think this is a fake out. So a lot of people thinking it's going to since there's. Since there's equal highs here, a lot of people have their their buy stop sitting right here. So you have buy stops and you also have uh, your shorts. So people are also shorting it right around here. And they're looking for it to go below the next low. Which would probably be right around here. So that's what... Oh, a lot of people that are in the game, in the MetaTrader 4 game, this is probably what they're doing or what they're looking for. They're looking for, hey, it got close to this. Let's go ahead and sell. It sold. Now let's look for the next low. Let's see if we can get it below these lows since it looks like there's some equal lows for liquidity. So it's trying to drop below here. Close enough. There we go. Yeah, it's the exact same. Okay, so uh, looks like liquidity is right here. It's trying to get to that liquidity. At least that's what these people want it to do. But unfortunately, it looks like I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it looks like instead what we had is we had this green candle looks like there's no no there's no fair value gap All right so it left it with no fair value gap which means that there's no fair value gap going this way that means it's looking for higher prices same thing drops down green candle pulls up no fair value gap. This thing is looking for higher prices. It's not looking for lower prices. If it was looking for lower prices, it would leave a fair. It would leave a space in those fair value gaps. And we wouldn't have to worry about it. But let's get rid of that since that's not going to happen. But what it did do, as you can see, there is an order. Oh, man, I don't know if that's an order block or not. Looks like an order block. Looks like it just pushed up, pulled down, and then just re-delivered. So since I would see, I would consider both of these candles as one candle. Since this wick didn't get above anything, so I would consider this one, you know, one candle together. So, which would signal that this red, red block here, that's going to be your order block, right? So look, you can see, you can tell right along the bottom, the wicks didn't even. What is that? Three, four, eight, zero, seven, twelve. I 
doesn't even matter. Um, what are the what are the opens and closes on these? Three, four, eight, one. Three, four, eight, one, three is the open, the close. Three, four, eight, one, four, nine, four. And three, four, eight, zero, seven. So it didn't exactly get to it, but it got close enough. Give me one second, I'll be right back to finish this up. I'm now back, as you can see, now that these two candles, looks like this candle has also broken. If it breaks and stays above this red candle here, which I think is what's gonna happen, Then we have another order block on our hands. Bullish order block. What by, by what is what I mean by that? The thing about this is over here is that this has this was a breaker. So this candle here. Green candle, drawn across. That was your breaker. Reason it was your breaker was because you have a high, low, lower, lower, low. So since there was a, or sorry, since you have a low, high, lower, low, you, will you look to the highest up? the highest up green candle or the last up green candle that body of the candle all the way across it's going to be your I do this that is going to be your breaker so as you can see breakers act as resistance I mean it can I guarantee you the high or the, the 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 closes are the same on these, or at least if not close enough. Close here. Close here is three five six nine nine zero four. Close three five seven zero three zero three. I mean, what is that? F four four dollars apart. Close enough. So, so now we're waiting on this. Now that we came back, we've hit this uh, bullish order block here. Now we're just waiting for the price to just go higher. And that's all. I don't think, uh, I mean, with this line right here, with uh, all of these, this, 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 all of this, all of this looks like a, I mean, an, an easy, you know, liquidity run it is, I mean, or at least a, a, a stop run. What will eventually happen is you're going to get, not highlighter, but this, Oh, didn't mean to start it there. Let's uh, delete that and start this over again. Okay. I mean, we're still in the 15 minute mark. So we still have plenty of time. But once this thing does close, 
uh, closes around here. Hopefully what we get is we get something that's going to shoot straight through that order block or that 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 uh, breaker and what could possibly happen is what you, you what will probably happen I believe what will happen is that it'll probably go above it right just just a little bit above it not too far above it go you get a little bit above it you're gonna get a bounce back and then once you get that bounce back you're gonna get this and then you're gonna get this going back up because that's gonna confirm that that breaker was there because that breaker is gonna act as support now how high is it gonna go high after that right here right it's gonna well, at least right there and the reason I say that is because if we look at there is a fair value gap here not much of one but there is one right go straight through there you're gonna get some kind of fair value gap it's gonna touch it just like it did these it may get to the top of it pull back because these are now also bearish order blocks which is something we also need to look after so if you have a bearish order block right above the fair value gap What we could see was now that we got this coming up here to the fair value gap is something to pull back probably to here right where this level is here where it made that turn to go in backwards right and then you'll see this go through again probably do the same thing well actually probably not because it's going to be a bearish order block so you're probably going to see a bearish order block and then you might see a struggle in this area before it finally breaks out and breaks liquidity That that's not even liquidity. That's this is the sad part. So, unfortunately, there's no more fair value gaps up in this area. It looks like everything has been enclosed. All the only thing we can look for up here is just the liquidity. We can only look for all of all of this. Not all of it, but at least the tops of this. This right here has a liquidity draw. So if we can get above this, you know, you know, 39, 38, 9, which is also going to be the start. Look, that's the reason it touched that and went back. You can see that here. That's the start of another fair value gap. So if we use this going up to here and all the way across as a fair value gap, use that. I'm going to pull this across. This is what we have to look for. We have to hope it does this, right? Look, look at the candle. I told you it was gonna go and break that the red candle and stay above it. All right, it touched the fair value gap, pulled back just like it always does. 
Now we gotta hope it's driving higher. This is, uh... A great time to get in, to be honest. If anybody's sitting back waiting on the sidelines, this is the time to get in, I think. I, I don't think we're going to see anything much lower. I think uh, what the uh, algorithm is showing us is exactly what we need to see. And uh, hopefully we'll see... Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube since it's a very short video. But uh, this is what we want to see. If we see anything other than this, then there we go. Hold on, I may have to keep on to it. There we go. It's go growing right through that. Yeah, it's trying to. It will, though. By the time this gets uploaded, hopefully we're going to see Bitcoin be all, all the way up to here already. Because it's going to try to break that liquidity line. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, well, uh, maybe I'll give an update just a little bit. Um, since my uh, live stream uh, is not wanting to work. Um, but... Uh, just wanted to uh, thank you all for always watching, and if uh, you can always remember to um, play it safe, um, play the smart money, always always place yourself on the other side, right? Put yourself in the side of the people who are going to be making the money, people who have the money. How? Which way are they going to force? the the market to go why would they force it to go that way you got to think outside the box not think inside the box and think well this is a trend line and it's going to continue going this trend line way and this is a flag so that means that it could drop this way no you can't think like that you got to think liquidity and you got to think balance right liquidity and balance right those are the th two things that price does okay so if you can, thank you very much, and always wear your pants.